Bread Thoughts, Colossal Con 2024. Hey everyone, and welcome to Colossal Con 2024 Thoughts. Uh, really quick, the format of the show is basically changed to, you know, just some random thoughts I had. Um, the treasures section, which basically, you know, I'll just talk about the stuff that I got there. Um, I might establish, you know, just a few video clips that I took, you know, with the Y and such, just so we have them. Splice them in really quick. And then cosplays I loved, and basically just talking about them with a little, um, like, slideshow thing toward the end. That's about it. So hopefully the format is a bit shorter. Because it's summer and it's hot and, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm just going to get right to it because I'm already starting to sweat. Um, the first thing that came up, you know, I'm not sure when I started doing it, but I like the idea of taking, you know, some pictures of the turnout for the different photo shoots, you know, around the start time just to see how many people are interested in the shoot. You know, it's a nice idea to better, better illustrate, you know, the love for the different fandoms. Um, I got at least two. I know one was Black Butler, I forget what the other one was, but, you know, basically just quick, a one-piece, duh, obviously. But, um, just quick shots. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just something I took just to see how the interest is. You know, there is interest there for all the different shoots, of course, and just wanted to... I might do that and include that in the photo galleries, you know, for the shoots. As well as, like, I did at Colossicon where I you know, took pictures of the different areas last year. Um, I might incorporate those into, you know, the albums as well. <clears throat> just an idea I had. Um, random advice that I came up with. Uh, basically, just keep a, you know, nice little plastic bag, you know, on hand. I had that off, off camera intentionally. <laughs> I just went to the store and I got stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, it can be handy. Um, I got some, you know, snacks from the vendors in the gift shop and the hall a few times occasionally. You know, and I grabbed an extra drink or candy bar, you know, to save for later. You know, and having an extra small bag was kind of convenient for that. You know, it wasn't weighing down the bag that was, you know, draped around my neck or in one of my random vest pockets, which again would have been a hassle to figure out. You know, it's just, oh, hey, it's I'm hanging on my wrist. I can take it off. I can put it on. I can carry it easy. And oh, no, I misplaced it. I'm out. I'm sorry, four bucks for a bottle of water? Uh, no, wait, never mind. <laughs> no, I'm guarding that thing with my life. It is very important. That's a joke. Again, I'm trying to go through these fast. It's too hot, man. I'm tired. And it's been a long week since I got back from the convention. Personal stuff. Everything's fine. I mean that genuinely. I'm just, ugh. Um, post-con idea. Maybe I should make something like the cosplay cleric. Um, you know, the saint of photography or something to help me stand out. Something I'm kind of considering. Another idea I'm considering is just doing one cosplay, you know, per day. Like, um, the Resident Evil shoot. Uh, we don't have a Brad Vickers, like, at all for whatever reason. So, hey, that would be a cool cosplay to do. At least, you know, have the yellow vest and a white shirt with, like, a stars thing on the side and, like, you know, RPD and Brad or something on the back. I don't know, just something I'm considering. So I might do that for the other conventions, like MitsuriCon, which is potentially the next convention that I'm going to. That is the plan at the current moment. Um, let's see. Um, I may have said it before, but I'll say it again and hopefully remember this time. I need to find some kind of towel, you know, or scarf to cover the neck area uh, because I draped my camera, um, a side bag, as well as Valerian, you know, over my neck. Hi, buddy. Comfy? Good. For real. Comfy. Okay. Um, you know, and just, and, you know, nothing big, just like a cooling towel. Like, I have one. I got one for work, and then I misplaced it, so I might have to get another one because I'm disorganized but yeah um so just saying like it might be a nice thing to have um and then the last of you know the good stuff that i have quickly to say um you know at the horror you know photo shoot um i acted as kind of an assistant to the lead photographer um i believe it's at thorn reed uh cosplay photography i'll put um you know his instagram here just so people can see it um, you know, he's a solid dude. You know, he's basically just, you know, regular type photographer, like myself. I would say more experienced, though. 
and other stuff. Um, I do have to talk to him actually to get a few pictures um, from the photo shoot. Uh, basically, toward the end of the shoot, you know, we had a you know photographer attacked in the field shot. You know, so we have characters like um, Pig Mask, um, oh God, Pyramid Head, um, I think Leslie Vernon from um, Behind the Mask. Uh, kind of a cult classic horror movie. Um, and just, you know, other characters coming after me as I'm taking pictures of the, I believe it's the sat satanic priest. You know, with the priest with the white and black face paint. Yeah. <laughs> and I get got. And somebody takes my camera. This camera that I'm recording with. But, you know, we gave it back because it was just in the spirit of the shoot. And it was just a funny shot. Um, basically, you know, for the horror shoot, I kind of got to act as kind of like an assistant. Because, um, you know, Mr. Thorne Reed wasn't as familiar with the horror genre, so he couldn't really as effectively call out the different shots to go with. And honestly, horror is kind of a complicated thing to work with. You know, it's not like, um, it's not like different fandoms. Like, oh, hey, like, person from this arc, or person from that arc, or person from that arc. It's, um, we had, you know, the RPD, um, you know, Resident Evil cosplayers. Uh, we had, uh, Killers in Masks. We had Monsters. Um, and we had other stuff. And we had a couple of victims. You know, potentially. Um, Maria specifically from Silent Hill 2 comes to mind. As well as just a few other odds and ends. So yeah, trying to do... <laughs> it, it's it's harder, to do, harder to do groupings, you know, with horror because it's such a wide range. But, you know, we got some good ideas out there. And just a few quick examples that, you know, may not come up, come up right off the bat. Um, uh, you know, victims, you know, versus killers. Cops versus killers, if you have... You know, um, cop characters or heroes versus the killers. Um, you know, villain stalking. Oh, like one of the shots that really quick, I will just put in here. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, um, we had the killers, you know, behind a tree just watching and waiting and, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was, um, it was good. It was a good shoot. I got to feel... I got to get some feel for being an assistant photographer for the set. Um, I gave my card to Thorn Reed as well as the um, shoot organizer whose name I did not get. I gotta work on that apparently. But yeah, I'm slowly whittling down my 100 cards. Um, I'm gonna guess I'm somewhere in the ballpark of like 70-ish left. You know, before I have to make new ones. Which I do want to make new ones if I'm going to update with stuff like, you know, the um, Brad Picture Man you know, of cosplay, of high voltage cosplay photography, um, and stuff of that nature. Um, I think that's it for the memories and stuff. Um, you know, for the, for the class gun treasures, I'll just talk about them really quick and then, you know, I'll put in the pictures afterwards just to illustrate them. Um, I got a number of dice from Geeky Endeavors, um, two sets of mini dice, uh, just so I can always have, you know, one hand, one on hand for fun and, it could, you know, come in handy sometime. Like, oh, hey, like, we get together to play Magic the Gathering or something like that. Dice on a hand is nice. Um, a cube with 36 D6, I believe. Um, basically, I'm just getting prepared for it whenever I get to cast Fireball. It's coming soon. Uh, we just hit level 4, and then it's either it's either level 5 or 6 where um, my wizard will get that. And that is in year 2 of Strixhaven, which I'm working on still. And once I get done with your one, then I can start coordinating with people to potentially run that. Life is going to be busy. As it always is. Heck. Um, let's see. Uh, two sets of the, of the you know, seven, seven polyhedral dice. Uh, one, because it reminded me of Valerian, my little buddy here. You know, dragon scale, um, red numbers... Um, like darker gray scales, I forget the exact colors. Um, and then the second was, you know, it just felt like water. Like the, like it's kind of a light bluish, you know, it works for water and water is my thing. I can never forget to stay hydrated because if I do, then I'm going to get dehydrated. Then I'm going to have a kidney stone and that's going to be a problem. Um, but yeah, so really quick, just the picture. Um, and then I got some prints. Again, I'll just show the pictures. Um, the first print, you know, has a cool holographic image of the starters, starting Pokemon of Gen 1. 
I'm going to try and, yeah, I don't know how to move it to show it, but trust me, they're there. Um, and hopefully, Brad, you will put um, below here, you know, the name of the um, artist, you know, who did them, which I think is on the picture. Uh, lenticular, I think it is. If I'm wrong, it is here now. Um, the second was a Gohan and Goku doing the family Kamehameha against Cell. You know, basically that final shot of, you know, Gohan using his one arm and Goku behind him in spirit attacking. Um, the third is a different artist. I have to see if I got their card. Um, is a reminder to stay hydrated with some Mushroom Kingdom, Kingdom characters playing tennis. You know, specifically the princesses and Pauline and Yoshi and Luma and I forget the name of the blue Luma. Yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in tennis now for reasons. Seems like a fun, interesting sport, even though it's very hot. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> Again, the joke was there. I have to make it because. I don't know, I just make whatever jokes I can, see what sticks. Um, I got some props, really quick, just a one shot of all of them. And then just a justification for each. Um, the cane has a dagger in the handle. You know, it wasn't intentional, but could be a fun potential prop for, you know, an a rogue aristocrat type of character. I got it because my normal cane is a bit too tall, and this felt like a good height. You know, I got to play around with it, and yeah, it felt like a good height. Um, that might be more for, you know, if I get to play a rogue character in the future in D&D, or if I do Blades in the Dark stuff in the future. That would require a lot more playtesting than just D&D, I think. Because, I don't know, crap! Uh, let's see, um, I got Kratos' Leviathan Axe. Again, mainly to see how it feels in my hands as a potential prop. So if slash when, well, if and when I get to replay my Barbarian character, Fang, the Dragonborn Barbarian, I can have a feel for how axe attacks might go. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, the pistol was just, it felt more steampunk. I'm putting that in quotes because, yeah, it looks more like maybe Eldritch horror -y with the green gem and stuff. Um, to see how, um, you know, if, so it might better fit Blades in the Dark as an ectoplasm pistol. Uh, you know, may bring that to steampunk conventions and see how it's received. We'll go from there. Um, there is one near the end of August, which is the one Mitsurikon is, I think. Crap. Or it's like week before. I forget. I'll figure it out. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then the final prop that I got was Mjolnir. You know, um, Thor's axe. You know, from the Marvel movies, Norse mythology, etc. Again, basically just to get a feel for it as, you know, a potential item to use has um you know in fighting and stuff for potentially like um a dwarf character for sure potentially cleric potentially paladin um if i can come up with something that was kind of similar to what murden bronzebeard was from warcraft 3 which basically looking at it i could make a case for paladin because he had avatar form and paladins get avatar form they grow big and stuff. So Oath of Ancients. So not going to name him Muradin though because copyright's bad. Um, and then of course, really quick, I just want to establish the gift that I got as well because I forgot to mention that. Um, my friend Ashley who ruined with Ryan and I, me, myself, us, there we go, um, got me a wanted poster for Roronor Zorro. It looks pretty cool and badass, and Yo Zoro is one of my top favorites of the Straw Hat crew. Probably favorite. Luffy's cool, but I don't like him as much. Like, he's definitely lower. So, I mean, I'd say it goes, like, um, Zoro, Sanji, Brook? Yeah. Like, one of those. It's, it's a weird mix somewhere there. And then you got Usopp as well, and that makes it just complicated. <sighs> but, um, yeah. I'll move past that. Um, so, really quick, I've just got some random video clips that I'm going to show, and I'll just preface them as 
best I can. Um, first off, we have the Mandalorian just waving the flag. Um, it was in the background of, of either Final Fantasy or Resident Evil. Thought it was cool. Um, then we have the rock band set up in the hallway, which again was very cool. It was um, in like a back corner hallway that isn't used for anything specifically. So, you know, it's kind of open for stuff. You know, it's a good chill area if you, if you ever need it and you're at Colossicon. And then, you know, just a bit from the Bit Brigade concert. Um, basically, they play the mu they play a cover of the music for the game as someone does a speed run. Um, the game that they were playing was The Legend of Zelda. I was there for probably a half hour, 40 minutes or so, and then I kind of dipped out because, yeah, it's cool, but um, I I'd gotten my fill. So, like, that's definitely a, oh, hey, I've got some time to kill. I just want to hang out and not have to do stuff. You know, a bit, uh... Bit Brigade is worth it for me personally. If you like, you know, you know, I'd say check it out for sure. I was trying to check out some stuff. But man, I had so many photo shoots, it was hard to really hit panels until after I was done with photo shoots for the day, and that wasn't until like five and six o'clock respectively. Um I'm gonna pause here. I'm going to talk about the cosplays that I loved. And then the next clip that I'm going to have with me again is just basically just a wrap-up. You know, talking about what happened here, plans for the future, etc. So, one second. Oblina, ah, real monsters. Mr. Crocker, fairly odd parents. The Dragoon or Lancer, Final Fantasy series. Orin, Final Fantasy X. Ace. One Piece. Jack Krauser, Resident Evil 4. Sailor Moon of Sailor Moon. Piccolo of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Super. Bob Ross, The Joy of Painting. The Mimic, Dungeons and Dragons, and Bloodborne. Usopp, One Piece. Soge King, One Piece. Captain Spaulding, House of One Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and Three from Hell. Maze Hughes, Full Metal Alchemist. The Going Merry, One Piece. Dr. Stein, Soul Eater. Elmer Fudd, Looney Tunes. Thirteenth Doctor, Doctor Who. And Dalek. Elven Pirate. My Facebook friend Spike. Dr. Robotnik and Metal Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright, um, so yeah, with all the cool cosplays out of the way that I really liked and enjoyed and got to see, um, I'm not sure what else there is to really say about Colossal Con 2024. Um, really quick shout out to Ryan once again for getting us a room at the Sleep Inn. Um, Ashley for rooming with us to take down the amount of money that we each had to put in for it. That was nice of you. I put in a little extra just because, you know, Ryan's been good and helpful to us in the past. Um, you know, I saw some cool people. I've gotten a friend request or two already. Um, you know, because of my work and sharing my stuff and trying to help them find pictures of themselves. You know, and just shouting out, you know, whoever... Whoever I ran into and I didn't get to run into, you know, um, I'm sorry I missed you if I didn't see you. Um, it was cool seeing those of you who I did get to see. You know, and hopefully I can see you guys next time, which at which currently my plan is um, MetsuriCon. That's like the next big convention. I have a few single day things planned over the coming months. Um, there's a horror convention in Cleveland. I'll put whatever information I can get really quick there. Um, there's a steampunk convention, which is about 30 minutes south of me, again, somewhere in late August, which I can put there. You know, I'll, and um, then there's MitsuriCon itself, which I can put that information there. You know, and then really quick, just to see it alongside me, either side, you know, 
So you can see all of those dates and stuff and be like, hey, Brad's going there. You know, maybe I want to check that stuff out. Uh, feel free to let me know and we can figure something out. Basically, the one-day things are probably just going after work. So it's a casual thing just to see, is it worth it to invite other people? Or are they going to get super duper mad that, oh, hey, Brad, I came to this thing and I didn't enjoy it because I'm not into steampunk and horror is too scary for me. Um, I think that's it. I'm hoping that's it because it is very hot in here. I'm about to open the windows and turn on the fans and take a very cold shower. Um, you know, thank you always for watching. Um, if you want to see the pictures that I got, uh, check out High Voltage Cosplay Photography on Facebook. I'm going to try and work on getting my own Instagram and sharing not everything there, but at least some stuff so you can get, so you can get a sample and then I can direct you to the Facebook and stuff because this is Ryan and Mike's Michael's project. You know, this is just something I jumped in on kind of late to the game. You know, and I I'm not gonna forget them. You know, it gives me a it gives me a platform that is established that more people can see stuff and potentially reach out and say, Hey Brad, you know, nice shot there. Thank you for that. Or hey Brad, we could use a photographer for, you know, this shoot or that shoot or whatever shoot. You know, um, just reach out, let me know. I'm basically a freelance photographer. You know, I'll show up, I'll do whatever pictures I can. I'll give you my card so you can, you know, get that information. And if you need that, you know, for like your portfolio or whatever, awesome. You know, I'm like, I literally just have a camera and that's it. I crop pictures with MS Paint. Ergo... I will accept donations. I'm not going to charge you for pictures because I'm not legit. Um, I do know at least a person, maybe two, who is legit. You know, that can get you good pictures and lighting and stuff and yada yada. And if you want to talk to them, by all means. I'm not going to be mad. I'm just kind of like your entry level and like your casual photographer. Who just wants to help build people up and build their confidence in cosplay. Because, you know, I'm a cosplayer too. And I think I will potentially go back to doing, you know, one cosplay a day things. Like um, Brad Vickers for the Resident Evil shoots, like I think I mentioned before. You know, or the Saint of Photography. Or some other variant. Or like, kind of a Steve Irwin type of cosplay photographer. If I can work out an accent and a personality to go with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's... It's messy and complicated, and I'm 36, and I'm still trying to figure this stuff out for me. Because, like, it's... Honestly, it's more just an ego thing of, like, I want to go to these things, to the conventions, and, you know, have some positive recognition from, you know, besides from people that do know me personally. You know, it'd be cool to, you know, hear somebody go, oh, hey, Brad's here, cool. You know, and, um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of an ego thing, just being completely honest with you. You know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this stuff for forever. But I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. You know, as long as I've got good people to room with, or I can get my own room at the convention center. Or I can just swing down for the day. Like, um, Colossal Con, at worst, I can just do day trips. You know, in the future if I don't have rooms. Because it's an hour and a half away. For some reason, I thought it was two and a half. I don't know. <laughs> all right i think that's finally it so um as always everyone have fun stay safe keep hydrated and of course remember every character has a story to tell i'm valiant bradley james i work with cosplay high voltage cosplay photography hashtag sponsored not sponsored um and yeah if you ever need somebody to take your picture let me know i can help you out with that as long as you know your standards are middling <laughs> all right peace out people